out to make this book an inspirational, motivational, how to succeed in life book. And it's not prescriptive. There's not a to-do list. You don't have to get out your pen and paper and take notes. I don't tell you what to do. I just take you through the story of my life. And hopefully from that, you'll absorb whatever it is that you need to absorb in your own uh, life journey, wherever you are in your story right now. story. I can't wait to read this book cover to cover. And I'm just so grateful that it will directly impact the lives of our youth in the way that they can then perhaps follow in your footsteps and achieve their goals and dreams and become such an incredible entrepreneurial success. I work with the same formula. What you say and what you do, that determines whether or not you have what you want in your life or don't. I realize that all of us have unique stories. What's important is that we pause and become aware of the lessons we can extract from our stories and then become intentional with how do we apply them in our lives. And we all have the ability to do that. And we also all have the ability to tap into the collective wisdom of other people's stories to shorten our own curve to learning. Positions. And we've got actually 22 and 23 year old youngsters leading very important divisions of the company. And why, how did they get there? They got there because they, they were relentless. They showed skill sets that, that are necessary for leadership, and we let them make mistakes and grow in the company. I always had my long-term goal as an Olympic gold medal in the back of my mind. It was the pursuit of those smaller goals each year, month, week, and day that allowed me to actually create the path to my own success. It started the momentum that eventually led to me achieving my final goal. That is the key part of being relentless. We know the classic of being able to, to get up when being knocked down, but it's also about being able to get up over and over. And how Natasha did it is also a great part of her story. It's more than just being relentless. It's more than just the tenacity that she had. It's also how she did it over time. Before you give your automatic response, take a breath, calm down your nervous system, lower your cortisol, and get connected to the feeling that I wanna feel in the next present moment and make sure it's a positive emotion. And then really go, well, what's the behavior that's gonna lead me to that? And choose to lead with that behavior in a responsive way and your whole life will change. It's why I say you're only one breath away from intentionality because one breath enables to do one behavior change which will change your life. We don't have to get focused on the big things like what a lot of the speakers have been talking about today. It's all about the little daily behavior changes and everything else will work out for itself. People want real. When I looked at the speaker lineup today, it was full of people that were authentic, that were leaning in, that were really pouring themselves in to you. It wasn't about them, look at me and how great I am speaking in the metaverse. It was about pouring in to you. And that is the future of marketing. That is the future of launches, absolutely.